Hello, my fellow VSGers. This is Jote Saint, along with my sidekick, Frankensleeve, coming at you with another product review. And the product I'd like to go over tonight is IsoPure Unflavored Whey Protein Isolate. This uh, three pound container I got off of Amazon.com. It was around $43, and that included free shipping. And I use this unflavored protein to beef up the protein levels in dishes that might be a little bit off on the percentages. When I came home from surgery, the packet they gave me told me that I needed to have at least 50% protein in every meal that I had, and then 25% of low glycemic vegetables, and then the remaining 25% could be uh, any kind of carbohydrates I wanted. So I make quite a few dishes that are just one pot dishes. Mainly it's uh, black beans and some type of meat, or it's garbanzo beans and some kind of meat, or it's lentils and some kind of meat. Uh, I prefer to make one big pot that I can eat on for four to five days. And sometimes the uh, protein levels are a little bit low compared to the carbohydrates, so I throw in a scoop or two of this IsoPure whey protein isolate. Uh, each scoop has 110 calories and it's 26 grams of whey protein isolate. I, I emphasize the isolate part because there are two at least two kinds of protein you can get when it, when it comes to whey protein. There's the isolate which is the better type of protein because your body absorbs more of it by volume than if you try whey concentrate. Uh, there's quite a few pre-mixed protein shakes that come with a combination of pre of whey isolate and whey concentrate and they're both very good forms of protein it's just that the concentrate is not as readily absorbed and you have to take take in more of the concentrate to get the same benefit as you would by uh, eating the isolate. So like I said, I, I like to put this into my food. Uh, I sprinkle over the top of the food after it's been cooked. I add this as a thickener and I also add it as a protein booster for my food. I have tried researching if it's good to cook with the whey isolate in the dish and the feelings are mixed. A lot of people say you can cook, in it, cook with it. Some people claim that if you cook with it then it will clump up and you might not like the clumpiness in the dish and other people still say further on further that if you cook with the whey protein that it will break down the protein and you will you will lose some of the benefits of it so this whey protein I just sprinkle it over my food or I mix it in with the pot once the the uh, pot is cooled down below the boiling point it, it does come with a handy scoop inside there so you know what how much you're, you're dealing yourself each, with each scoop. It says use a heaping scoop full each time to, for the 110 calories. So I usually use just a, a level scoop full so that I know that I'm within, when I'm trying to track the calories I'm putting into my food. Now some people on the forums that I visit have said that they can detect a flavor in this IsoPure brand whey isolate. It says I'm flavor on the label and I've actually taken my finger and wet it and put some on the tip of my finger and tasted it and I could not taste anything. It seemed like it the minute I touched the uh, the whey isolate to my tongue it became like concrete. It was just very solid and it was very tough to chew. It, it was like biting down on, on a, a tree branch or something because it was very 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 solid and it was very hard to chew up once it solidified. But I did not taste any flavor. I didn't have any aftertaste. I never noticed anything. So maybe you can get a hold of a smaller bottle than I did. Uh, unfortunately, around my area, I could not find this uh, IsoPure brand, which is the, the brand that the uh, bodybuilding forums talk about quite a bit. And, all, and the guys that I was following their threads, they were recommending the IsoPure brand, so that's what I wanted to stick with. So I took the plunge and 
invested $43 in the three pound bottle and fortunately it has worked out well for me. Uh, I've never seen a smaller bottle of this but I don't live near a GNC or any kind of vitamin shops. So if you're looking for a good unflavored whey protein this is what works for me. Isopure whey protein isolate. So this is Joe Saint and Frankensleeve signing off from VSG Land. And keep pimping that sleeve.